Story time with Tom Foolery presents If Susan's Pussycat Could Talk Written by Noel Long This is clearly a parody and not intended for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. If Susan's Pussy Could Talk It would say that it wished it wasn't hairless and that it longed for some fur that people could caress. It would tell how it has racked up a very high body count, an almost unimaginable amount. Her pussy would describe days when it was dripping wet and how it would never forget the big black wiener that frightened it almost to death. It would recall sitting on the washing machine until the clothes were fully clean and of being in an awful state when it acquired a smell which was difficult to eliminate. It would recount with a scowl becoming a night owl on the prowl almost driven to distraction looking for some action with soul-crushing nights spent on the city streets when it would get no meat just trying to find the scraps that other pussies would leave behind it would speak of glory days when it went through a phase of getting the best sausage. Most nights it went out and a recent dry spell that would be better described as a drought. It would relate a time when James had the audacity to stretch Susan's pussy to maximum capacity. Plus, how it got infected and reluctantly rejected several invitations to enticing locations as well as how it learnt to enjoy getting poked with a plastic toy it would divulge information about how for the duration of its one week vacation it at best got a few hours rest and shook violently for most of each night spent under Parisian lights. It would depict getting hit with a huge cream pie by that socially awkward guy. Susan's pussy would boast about the delightful spit roast by the West Coast which was the occasion that it enjoyed the most. If Susan's pussy could talk, it would ask her to wash it more, to give it a rest when it's sore, and to please not roar when her pussy is overstimulated, adding that it seems that Susan's screams are often exaggerated. It would bemoan Susan's tendency to play with her pussy alone, but it would thank her for considering its needs as well as her own. The End If Susan's Pussy Could Talk Written by Noel Long Illustrated by Celeste Antonucci Narrated by Tom Foolery. A very special thank you to Noel Long for sending us his latest release. More coming soon from him. Anyway, pussies don't need to talk. They are very simple creatures. Mine especially. It just wants food, sleep, and the occasional f let us know in the comments section what your pussy would say 
if it could indeed talk. I'm sure it would be filthy, wouldn't it? Yes, you filthy harlot, Karen. Finger the links on screen. More story time coming soon. See you next Tuesday.